true that you are a slave like everyone else you were born into bondage born into a prison a prison for your mind greetings today i want to speak to you concerning cosmic consciousness and when i speak of consciousness i am speaking of the invisible i am speaking of your true divine identity or your true divine essence which will bring you to know exactly who you are why you're here where you really come from and where you're going now this cosmic consciousness of which i speak is what abdullah really introduced neville to after neville been studying with him for more than five years and studying the bible along with the kabbalah and abdullah wanted him to have the experience of cosmic consciousness and this cosmic consciousness of which i speak it doesn't take place in the physical realm it takes place in the spiritual realm therefore it's only you alone can have that experience and will be able to tell of that experience for example when i said that i am pure consciousness it is because of experience and when i say cosmic consciousness i am speaking of an experience that will bring you into the world of the invisible where you would realize that you are just a spirit having a human experience and that your true intelligence is actually your true self so when neville had his burning desire to travel to barbados and he had no work and he had no money abdullah taught him how to tap in to this cosmic consciousness which is tapping in to his true divine self and so all the seers the sage the sages philosophers yogis enlightened ones mystics all of these men and women they would have had some divine experience some form of initiation that brings them into the realm of the invisible so that they will understand the mysterious works that many do not understand so when i speak of cosmic consciousness i am speaking concerning how the technology of thought transmute into form or matter so when they say mind over matter our mind is what creates matter it is this consciousness that i am speaking about it's not something that you theorize it is not something that is from the intellectual realm it is from the realm of spirit and i'm saying i'm saying all of this to say to you the reason why i'm here bringing these messages to you and speaking about abdullah the black mystic from ethiopia and neville garden it is because based from my experience of the promise of which neville would have taught extensively concerning the promise and we look around and we see very hardly anyone speaking about the promise everyone is speaking about the law there must always be someone to carry on the work there must always be someone to present the message in its fullness and i'm saying it's only until you understand cosmic consciousness which i as i would have said before which is only by experience that you will able to bring to the people the fullness of the message from any mystic or prophet or seer or sage so there has always been a continual work that has been taking place on the planet and it is those who would have experienced cosmic consciousness so whenever you hear someone say you know they they, they had some awakening experience or some enlightening experience or they, they are a self-aware person and so on they must have some sort of encounter with 
cosmic consciousness. In other words, they must have some form of experience of the invisible. Like in my case, when I had the birth from the skull and I became one with the wind, I came into the world of the invisible. And that's the cosmic consciousness I'm talking about. You can't see it. You're not going to see it. You feel the, 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 the breeze blow on you, the wind blows on you, but you don't see it. And in St. John chapter 3, it tells you that anyone that is born from above, that's the experience that they would have. And it says also, you need to be born again. And then it tells you, unless a can of wheat fall in the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it bring forth much fruit. You don't see when the plant grows. You don't see when the process is taking place. And when you come into that experience of cosmic consciousness, no one will see when it takes place. That is why you'll be the one telling the experience. And that's why in St. John chapter 3, he says, we know of that which we speak because we are witness of it. So there's always the Christ correcting the Nicodemus. And Christ is basically the higher place of consciousness that you would vibrate to. And you're correcting the error, which is the religious mindset. So my brother and my sisters, in order for you to vibrate into that realm of cosmic consciousness, you, you have to grow out of religious beliefs and come into a place of self-realization. A place of seeing God face to face. You becoming thought itself. You becoming the invisible. You becoming one with the substance. One with the divine. One with the creator. That's how you can operate in your creative power. Knowing that anything you say or do you would have actually experienced yourself as a thought. And you know that you're a thought evolved being. So my brother, my sisters, I'm saying all of this just to show you that, you know, the message of never got it goes deeper and that the many things that you'll be able to manifest in this physical realm, doesn't matter how much it serves you, at the end of the day, it's all illusionary. It's all imaginary. But the real thing is imagination and when you have an awakened imagination that's the conclusion and that conclusion is what brings you in your true identity as your divinity so as you practice the law i want to remind you to remember the promise remember all is cosmic consciousness the most important thing and that is why you're told seek e first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you it tells you that Solomon seek for wisdom knowledge and understanding then riches came afterwards cosmic consciousness and that's why I truly believe that there are those who have been chosen to do this work there are those who have been chosen to interpret the book there are those who have been chosen to be a part of the council there are those who have been chosen to be a part of the council of the gods. Those who have come into that place of bliss. Those who have been initiated into the mysteries. So my brother and my sisters, we all have gifts and we all have different purpose here. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just doing this video to do justice to the work of Neville Goddard and his mentor abdullah okay because never themselves says that many will commercialize the message they, there will be people with etching ears who you can tell them exactly what they want to hear and they'll go you know after that because they're just chasing after the materialistic uh illusionary world the world of shadows okay but the real thing is that which is within you which is real that one day you would like to come face to face with and you call the place, like Jacob called it, pineal. <laughs> a lot of people like to talk about the pineal gland, but they never had any real experience of their own. But there are those of us who have had the experience. And we're encouraging you to say, we are no better or higher than you. We just precede you in the awakening. 
to my brother and my sisters, the whole message of Neville Goddard is all about self-realization, which is true salvation. It's not just about manifesting things. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I think I've gotten my point across to you and I'm not discouraging you from manifesting things. I'm not uh, manifest, um, discouraging you from using the law because even never said the law is to help us to ease the blues of life and to deal with the laws of Caesar and to give Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give unto God what really belongs to God, which is the higher self, the Christ self. Okay, so you take whatever you want from this message. What you don't want, you can leave it. Okay, but I'm making sure I do justice to this great message of self-realization. Okay, I'm not going to say things that people just want to hear to, you know, create, you know, a, a, a certain kind of following from people being gullible for material gains and missing the point. It's all about cosmic consciousness. Okay. So, my brother, I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying makes sense, you really resonates with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And also, if there's any way you'd like to support this work, if you feel strongly led to support this work, we have a PayPal and the link is down below. And if you feel strongly led to do so, I'm encouraging you to do so. And whatever seed you sow, it is well appreciated. Okay, so I just want to mention one more thing. We have a Patreon, and if you'd like to be a part of that community, feel free to do so. We have a lot of good information that is there to help you also, and you'll be undisturbed with ads and so on. Okay, also, I have and that. Patreon, a course called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously or the Inner Sun Engineering to Create Your Reality Consciously and it's all about teaching you how to align with the sun or the light that is within you to live your purpose and for you to one day come into that cosmic consciousness and that is what people were donating at least 20 or more dollars it's available to you so with that being said my brother and my sister I want to thank you very much and I want to say peace I love you all. I'm out.